In this video, we're going to discuss how to enter a non-recursive sequence into your TI-84 calculator. So what we want to start out by doing is we have to make sure our calculator is in sequence mode. So what you're going to do is you're going to push the mode button, and this is what you'll see. And I want you to down arrow to where it says function, parametric, polar, or sequence. Let's move our blinking cursor over to sequence and push enter. So now you should see that we are no longer working in functions, we're now working in sequences. So let's quit out of there. So go second mode to quit out of there. So now, let's look at our sequence that we're going to enter. Here is the form for my a sub n term. It's going to be 2n minus 11. So to enter that value, I'm going to go to y equals. So what I do is I push the y equals button right there. And now, look how it always had y before. Now it shows you that you're doing u of n. That's the same thing as a sub n. So our formula was 2 n. Now, look down to your xt theta n button. When you push that button, it puts an n in there for you. So we have 2 n minus 11. Because this is a non-recursive um, form, you do not need to put something in for u of n min. Okay, that we will have to enter a value if we do recursive. So now if we want to look at the values, I can go second table, and there is the list of my terms in my sequence. So that is how you do a non-recursive sequence. Now let's take a look at a recursive sequence. So a recursive sequence, we know that it is identified as the, the current term is determined using the previous term. In this example, my lowest value for n is 2 and my starting value for a sub 1 is negative 4. I'm already in the sequence mode, so I'm going to push my y equals button, and again we see the n min and my function for my terms, and this time we're going to have to use u of n min. So let's go ahead and let's put in that function negative 5 times the previous term. So negative 5. Now to get that u, if you look on your keyboard, you see that above the 7, 8, and 9 are blue, lowercase u, v, and w. Those are reserved as functions for sequences. So if I push second u, it automatically puts in that u function. Then I put in open paren, and to get the n, I do xt theta n, so I get that n, and I want minus 1 close paren, okay? So now, the u of n min, well, n min is 1, so that means my first term. Well, my first term is negative 4. So that's why in this case you have to enter a value for that first term because it's defined recursively. So let's take a look at what we get for values. I'll push second table, and there you see there's negative 4, and then I multiply that by negative 5, I get 20, negative 100, and so on. So that is how you do a recursive sequence in the TI-84.